who's top dog around here. That's your best Batman. You're not gonna fool anyone, Grayson. There's no way you're gonna pull this off without my help. If Batman doesn't return soon... I know. All bloody hell's gonna break loose. This is Stuart Allen, and you're watching Krypton Chronicles. Hi, Stuart. Hey, how, how are you? you? Doing? I'm doing fantastic today. Right. It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. All right. Um, so I have a question for you. You've been Damien for quite a, some, some time now. Yes, I have. Um, do you feel that his training is at the point now where he could actually leave the Himalayas and stay in Gotham? Or do you, or do you see that there, he has much to learn even now? In um, I mean, I, I definitely see that he has started to grow in his, uh, you know, kindness and, and compassion and learning justice from vengeance. But he's still a little bit conflicted. I still think he has much to learn because as we see in the one of the beginning scenes at the monastery, um, he is he's, he's still conflicted with the uh, with the old family versus the new family. He is becoming humble enough to start like scraping the floors and uh, help out other members of the family, but he's still not humble enough to shave his own head. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I really think that he, he does have a lot more responsibilities and issues that he is uh, he has to work out. But uh, in the end, I do believe that uh, uh, he has earned the right to uh, try to rejoin the Batman family. Yeah. Great, great. Um, so there's kind of a family twist because now there's a clone. Yes. And it's heretic and clone from your character. Yes, exactly. The clone with no soul. That's right. Yes, it's very eerie. Um, so in your opinion, do you think that the Batman blood now is really dangerous? Almost like, you know, it, that that's the villain now? The, bat, the, the blood itself? It could be used the blood for itself? evil? Or? Um, I do feel like uh, that the blood itself uh, could be a possible villain, but uh, then again, uh, that blood has only come from Damien so far because he was the only one who was raised by the League of Assassins. And also, the blood uh, itself, uh, uh, he's just, um, and that just kind of creates the character. But uh, he himself, as you remember from the movie, he was trained by Talia and Rachel. Right. So uh, I still feel like um, the Batman bloodline is still genuinely good, but it could also turn evil. It goes, uh, it can go either way. It just depends on uh, who's uh, controlling the, uh, the genetics. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's great. That's great. That, <laughs> make, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so you and Batman, you guys have been, um, you and your character have been acknowledging one another, but but do you think it's really a father-son relationship now? From what I saw, because your, your character calls him father, and it sounds a little deeper this time, do you think they're more of a father-son now? Yes, absolutely. On? Yeah, definitely they were a lot closer than they were at the beginning uh, of, the, of the film series. As we see before, like in Son of Batman, the very first one, he's very much having his ties to his mother and Rachel Gould. And he's right. kind of resenting his father's methods of justice, not vengeance, and you know responsibility, and you know, and um, and caring for the people rather than you know honor, uh, fighting for oneself, controlling the world, having the world at your fingertips. That's right. more that's more appealing to Damien. But as he starts to learn more of what of why Batman does what he does, he starts to bond with him a little bit more. He sees that you know this is not so bad. It's actually really good. And um, and sooner or later he's really started to bond with his father. And as we see in this when he starts calling him father, he. Uh, he tries to save him from, you know, jumping off the cliff. And, uh, and by the way, Batman, let me just say uh, so one thing. For the future, lose a couple pounds. I almost lost my arm on that cliff back there. <laughs> and uh, But yeah, I mean, he's really starting to uh, to care for his father at this point in the story. Yeah, yeah that's, that's amazing. And, yeah, and the father, his son, too. Right, right. Um, so I have a question for you as an actor. Sure. Um, are you going to, I mean, obviously, you're Damien Wayne. Yeah. I mean, you're the Damien. Um, um, do you ever plan on doing anything else in the DC universe? Ever branching off from that? You think, or, or um, I think that um, I, I'm really, I'm very much comfortable being uh, Robin in the series. I love uh, being uh, part of that in the DC uh, universe. He is such an iconic character. But eventually, I don't know. Maybe when I get a little bit older, it would be pretty cool to uh, play Green Lantern. Maybe. I really like uh, how he can use his imagination and creativity. I'm a creative person, so yeah. seeing that in action is really uh, attracting to me. Yeah. That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, All right. Well, hopefully we'll see you one day as Green Lantern. Hey, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks, Stuart. No problem. All right. Have a great night. Thanks, you too.